All right, so five steps of how to set up your clubhouse. Are you ready? We're gonna do yeah. it together. So recently I couldn't poop, so we're gonna go to Whole Foods to get some remedies. Really? Yeah. Have <laughs> oh, you been constipated? Or? Yeah, I've been super constipated. You need some fiber. No, like it's been two weeks. I might need to go to the doctor, but I'm gonna just do one more shot of going to Whole Foods and see what happens. <laughs> Should you throw like a TMI on your <laughs> thumbnail? Tama thinks that I censor myself on my channel. I just say what I feel. People know that. So this video has nothing to do. With... Oh, that's squeaky sound. <laughs> yeah, it's all the plastic bottles. Oh. <laughs> Last week when she I want a hydroplast to prevent my my plastic consumption, but instead of, there's two cases of them in the back of my car. So today's video is me going to Whole Foods to fix my bowel problems, but this video is actually about Clubhouse. What's Clubhouse? Okay, so basically Clubhouse is imagine a live podcast where a bunch of CEOs, business people, creatives just talk for hours. Isn't it basically like like a live chat Discord? It's like, yeah, it's basically that, but there's different rooms you can hop in. But it's it, more specified. Right? It's more specified. Some rooms are really random. Like I was in one room where people were just smoking and I was in another room where people were talking about like how to grow a business. It is an invite only app, which is gets a bad rep actually, but it's a really fucking cool app. And actually in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my best tips for getting onto Clubhouse. Also, I'll be giving advice on how to grow through Clubhouse and I'll be actually giving a free invite. If you guys wanna know more on how to get an invite, keep on watching this video, I'm gonna give away some invites. But before you get the invite, you have to watch me go to Whole Foods. <laughs> we need to fix our bowel problem. Yes! All right guys, so we're here at Whole Foods. I mean, my plan at Whole Foods is to get some stuff for my stomach. If this doesn't work, I'm going to the hospital. So, stay tuned. We got probiotic gummies. I think this is gonna help me. I don't know. I also saw like these things really help. But this shit I heard really just like makes the thing go, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna get some other stuff, not for my stomach, but for my soul. Do you guys sell Olipops? Olipops? Yeah, it's like a drink. They're really good drinks. I know. Yeah. Oh, they're <laughs> they're good. Yeah, I can't hear though. Really? Okay. Where do you get them? I just randomly find them at grocery outlet. Oh shit! Yeah. I found the Olive Pops. Holy shit! They have so many flavors. Yes. Okay. They have classic root beer, cherry vanilla. Oh, do you well, like soda? They have yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, they have Olive Pops. Dang. Wait, do you have a favorite flavor? Root beer. Root beer? Okay. Yeah. I've never had it. Oh, dude, so Root good. Root beer? Root beer is good. Yeah, get one, dude. So we got my soul food. This has nothing to do with my stomach. I just want this. And we have my probiotics. Hopefully, I'll shit tonight. We're gonna go to the park and talk about Clubhouse. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to spend the most embarrassing shit? Look. Look at all this water bottle shit. <laughs> my god. Dave, we just cleaned this up last week. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kate actually lives in her car, she doesn't live in her house. Alright, we'll, we'll cut this. We made it to the park. She always slams it on me. Come in! Open the door! Oh. <laughs> this should just be a compilation of Jade yelling at me. <laughs> you need to like... Wait, don't pick. <laughs> He was my friend, that's why. Okay, ready? Let's try. Three, Cheers. two, one. This isn't even carbonated. I just like it because it, it says fiber and probiotic on it. I would say eight out of ten for me. Um, just because it has fiber in it. This is a five dollar shot of charcoal and digestive enzymes. I just really need to go tonight. Have you ever taken a shot before? Yes. Depends on what you're talking about. <laughs> Bottoms up. What is that? What is that? <coughs> like, what are the benefits of Clubhouse? I think the benefits of Clubhouse is you're really able to meet people you'd never meet. It's the perfect substitute for events or networking. Like I said, I was in a room with the CEO of Uber, Twitch, like just really big companies and you just talk to them and they're really nice. Like huge CEOs are just leading group calls, just hanging out with people. And I think it's a great way to learn, network and make friends. 
Okay, but like what's the difference between making connections via Clubhouse or via any other social media? I mean, yeah, but I think audio is so intimate. You can multitask. Like, you know how on Instagram you have to like focus all your attention? Mm -hmm. On Clubhouse, you can edit a video or wash some dishes. It's a great, like, I feel productive. What does Clubhouse actually look like? What does the interface look let me, like? Let me show you. So this is what Clubhouse looks like when you open up. You have all these rooms. Some of them are called, are people inherently good or bad? Another one's how to blow up on YouTube using the latest feature, voice mastery. And I'm just gonna join this one. And these are all speakers. Green buttons mean speakers. And then these are all the audience members. And that's me. And I can raise my hand and I can speak. And you'll see in a second that they're gonna bring me up. Hey, now, now I'm a speaker. So you can see I'm on the stage now. I don't manage it myself, so... You've got to mute yourself, though, because... Oh my gosh, Jade almost just ruined that chat room. But yeah, so that's what Clubhouse is, and you can join any room, one at a time, and you can even host your own events with friends. What, what kind of topics can you choose from on Clubhouse? Yeah, so there's something called the Explore page on Clubhouse, actually, and you can join any of these rooms. There's knowledge, places, tech, faith, sports, hustle, wellness, language, arts. You can just click any of them, and they kind of show you all these clubs. Five, like, what are five things that someone should do once they get in? All right, so... Five Five steps of how to set up your clubhouse. Are you ready? We're gonna do yeah. it together. No. We're gonna open the app. <laughs> New to this. Get a choose your username and you need to put in your phone number. Okay, so now Teo is adding a photo. This is actually really important. You wanna make sure your photo is like a good photo. This is my photo. It has nice colors, my hair stands out. Like it does help to have a nice profile photo. So either have a nice photo with contrast background or pick a photo that everyone already knows you on from social media. Follow your friends. Clubhouse automatically syncs your contacts so you know who are people on Clubhouse that you're friends with. I don't know how much I'm supposed to eat of these. <laughs> Once you set up your account, it does suggest you people to follow because the way the algorithm works is based on who you follow is the rooms you get invited to. So it is important to, in the beginning to at least follow 100 people or else your home feed looks a little sad. Step two is join clubs. So clubs allow you to find rooms when they host them. You can join actually my club, the green room, if you'd like to get started, but there's a bunch. I'm in one called like Asian American Club, so I can meet other Asian American creators, and there's a bunch in photography, surfing, whatever floats your boat. That's the best way to know what the fuck's up. But in terms of growing your business or your audience, this is what I recommend. You wanna be a speaker on Clubhouse. My recommendation is to join smaller rooms and then request to be a speaker, and you're more likely to come up. Many people, 47, 117, when you're first starting, you really want to not join the 1,000 person rooms, okay? You want to join the rooms that are 20 to 50 people. And the goal on Clubhouse, like I said in the beginning, if your goal is to grow your business and grow your network, you want to be on stage because when you add input, that's how people follow you and you get to meet people. Find your tech bro sugar daddy here. There's some fun what ones. So you can go to this one. Okay. It's, fun, but it's less intimidating. Raise can your you, hand. Do you think you could become more two-dimensional? No, Typically, if it's a small it. enough group, they'll invite you in. Um, yeah, I love you, by the way. Oh, yeah. So you got in. So yeah, make sure you mute yourself. So now you can see Kay was on stage and you can talk. Oh, Say you're new on Clubhouse. Hey, hey guys. I, I'm, I'm new on Clubhouse, so this is, you know, bear with me. I'm trying to figure this out. Zero, zero followers. Tina has zero followers. Zero followers. Who's going to break his cherry? <laughs> Dude, break my, my break my clubhouse cherry, please. Do we have any tech bro sugar daddies in the room? Yo, it's you, Charles. Both Wait. of you. And it doesn't have to be money. It could be what coding. Is what does that yeah. even mean, though? Like, it could even be Bitcoin. Oh, you got you guys on Dogecoin or what? Dogecoin. Can I self-identify? Sure. Can we do sugar mummies as well, please? <laughs> Sugar daddy is a Buddy, you here got that game stock stock. I think the non binary term would be sugar parent. No, but I'm on the I'm on the Nokia stock. We're gonna leave for an example, we can come by later. So that is how you join a room and he instantly got four followers. So I always recommend join small rooms, just say hi I'm new to Clubhouse. If you, literally if you say hi I'm new, it might make you sound stupid, but people love to hear People, new people, new talking. people talking. So obviously they were making fun of him with zero followers. They instantly followed him. There's a lot of like really good energy on Clubhouse. So feel free to say that I'm new and people will invite you. Your bio does matter on Clubhouse. I find that people really treat their bio like a Wikipedia page. Do you see this bio? It's literally like pages long. But my recommendation is to make sure your bio is optimized. This is my bio. It has what I do, my experiences, my followers. Mm -hmm. So I recommend talking about in one sentence, 
what you do, I typically like to say, I started this, now I do this, because it shows people your experience and now what you're looking for. And I keep it short. Some people really like to put the ebook and sales funnel. I personally don't like to do that because my biggest tip is you don't want to sell people on Clubhouse, but it is important to put on who you are, what you do to help others, and some statistics of your experience, like followers do help. And make sure you link your Instagram because people like do go on your Instagram to see who you are and see how hot you are. Step one. Oh my God. Don't fall. Step one, you want to make sure you follow all your friends. Step two, you want to join clubs. Step three, join small rooms to become speakers. Step four, optimize your bio. And step five, try not to sell. Like really try not to sell just because it has been getting a bad rep recently. Like people do kick you off. And you don't want to be kicked off a clubhouse call. It's kind of embarrassing. So try to be as authentic as possible and genuinely add value. And if you have to do your ebook, do use this, but I warned you. Oh, I did not see you there. So if you're watching this video, you're like, wow, Clubhouse on school. I think I know what to do now, but how do I join Jade? Well, good thing my name is not only Jade Mwangza, but my name is your plug. All you gotta do is just like this video, subscribe, and comment. And I'll just pick out a comment winner next week. Shout out to the comment winner. <laughs> I don't know if this one to be on the episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Jay doing the walk. <laughs> and I will pick a winner next Friday. That's when I upload every YouTube video. I thought it would be fitting before I end this video to just show you guys what a clubhouse is really like. This is live footage of one of my best sessions when I was speaking against the CEO of Uber. I recorded this whole conversation with some of these crazy influencers. I'm gonna quickly play it real quick and you guys can let me know your thoughts. This is confidential information, so don't share it to anyone. Hey, hey everybody, I see you guys rolling in the room. It's your moderator here. This is the fireside chat with tech millionaires. <gasps> guys, we're about to drop gems. Feel free to introduce yourself speakers. You have 60 seconds. Hi everybody, my name is Shafid, uh, early stage employee at Uber. Uh, really early stage, way before it was even a company. Um, now I'm the CEO at SMS, which stands for Stay Muted On Stage, please. Okay, uh, and yeah, I'm here to contribute any value. 60 as I, seconds. I was just gonna say I'm here to contribute any value as I can. My uh, expertise is in anything in tech. Wow, guys, I am shocked. These speakers are insane. Everyone in the audience, if you guys could just show a little love with your mics and just tap a little, we can show how much we appreciate these speakers. Hi guys, my name is Emily. I'm a social media influencer and content creator. Yeah, hi guys, I am Jade Darmawangza. I'm the CEO at X8 Media and I've been making YouTube videos since I was nine and I turned it into a creative agency. And then I sold that and moved on to another project called Create, which is a creator incubator program. 60 seconds. Sorry. Um, I'm Jade and I make videos. Hey, hey speakers, uh, please DM me before you add more speakers. What's up guys? My name's Paul. I have a Lamborghini and I sell courses. Uh, my cash app is in my bio if you guys feel free to donate whenever. Um, not that I need the money, I just thought that if you guys really like me that you could contribute. Um, not that I need the money. I really don't need the money, but it's, it's, it's there if you guys want to. <laughs> Alright speakers, one mic. Please, how many times do I have to say that? Oh, Jade, I fuck with your videos. <laughs> Thank you Paul, that's really sweet of you. Yeah. All right, so audience, you heard our panelists. This is insane. I have so much fucking value. I don't know why this event is free. We actually can uh, Venmo us if you'd like to uh, donate and stop being a freeloader. Hi, my name is Sandy, and my first question- Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, actually, Rebecca was first. Uh, can we just make sure we follow the order? It's Rebecca after Sandy, Sandy after Jay, Jade after Mike. Okay, can we respect that? All right, Rebecca, go. Uh, hey guys, my name is Rebecca. Uh, my questions for the speakers are, are you guys actually millionaires? I don't believe you all. Thank you. Uh, you know, the way I grew my company at SMS to, uh, you know, IPO uh, right now, we're at a current $1 billion evaluation. Hey yo, Shafi, um, can you shut the fuck up? You think you're sounding smart with all those buzzwords. 
You're just fucking confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. I'm just busy making money while you're here scamming people with your courses. Okay. Please mute yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you please stop bullying in this chat? I think we need to send more positive vibes. You guys, guys are. Please vibes. mute yourself. <laughs> you guys are all fakes. Guys, fakes. Shut Imposters. the fuck up. Literally shut the fuck up. You know what, guys? I'm done here, okay? This is the worst fireside chat I've ever been to. If you guys ever stuck foot in Silicon Valley, you guys would be screwed, okay? On Clubhouse, your bios are passing, you're fucking making everyone fall for you. But if you stepped into my world, okay? You'd be through. I'm recording you on Clubhouse. I'm guys, leaving. guys, can we reset the room here? <laughs> pull a refresh, pull a refresh. Hi! <laughs>